Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video. We have FNAF news exactly 1983 days after FNAF 4 was released. Coincidence? I think not. Crazy to think it's been nearly 2,000 days since FNAF 4. Just absolutely incredible to think about. Hopefully, you guys had a very Merry Christmas yesterday, and if you don't celebrate it, well, Congrats on making it to the weekend. Tell me in the comments down below, what did Santa bring you? What's your favorite thing you got? Or if you're just happy about the weekend. So this episode is a bit different because we are focusing on the new FNAF coloring book that releases... I do this every video. I never have the release date pulled up. January 5th next year. So it's like, what? 10 days away. So while it's not too far away, some people have already gotten the book. And so I'm here to show you guys some of the pages because... They are very interesting. They feature some characters that we have yet to see in a game. A game that should be coming out the same year as this book. Security breach characters are in this book, boys. This is big. We also have a review of the book that I want to quickly go over because it has some very interesting points in there. So let's not waste any more time. Subscribe if you're new, smash the like button, and let's hop into it. So the review that I'm going to be showing off is from Mr. Red Plasma Bird 12 over on the Reddit. It's linked down below. He said, Hello, lads. Have you wanted to worship a pizza bear with your friends and join a couple? <laughs> mm. Well, look no further than the official official FNAF coloring book. This will be a non-spoiler review as this book was supposed to release in January 2nd, even though it says 5th on the FNAF wiki, so I guess it's just releasing soon. This should be a short and sweet review, keeping everything simple. Won't share any pages on- well, that's awkward because I have some pages to share. <laughs> also, keep everything leveled and don't hype yourself up too much. You guys know who you are. Let's get the obvious reason why you're probably here anyways, the lore. Now, now, for anybody who expected this to be Logbook 2, Electric Boogaloo, I'ma stop y'all right there and tell you this. The overall lore of this book is 3 out of 10. Virtually non-existent, so don't go trying to fight little kids in a local Walmart just to see if Freddy is an atheist is confirmed or not. Jokes aside though, I will say this, there are some slight implications. And I do mean slight, so there's that, but even then remember to temper your expectations. This is really just a fun little coloring book. So the lore is, it's basically not there. Don't go buying this book just to see if Cassidy is Golden Freddy, just to see if Michael is the bite victim. That's not going to be the case. Now on to the content of the book, the second most important reason for the book. As far as in characters, you got almost everybody from the main games that does include Help Wanted and Security Breach and even the Charlie Trilogy characters. Was surprised to see them there actually. Sadly, the Fazbear Freddy characters aren't here. Was looking forward to Fun Time Freddy singing to Millie, but oh well. The art does look like it is made by Pinky Pills and looking further it does seem like a mash of Lady Fizzy in some areas. At first, it looked like it was made by someone else, but then looking back at the Silver Eyes graphic novel, I then recognized it was her art style. The drawings in the book are pretty good, actually. Of course, some of the proportions are off, cough, cough, with a pretty cough, cough, we'll get to him. But other than that, I think y'all will have fun with the potential of this book. It does appear to be a collage of poses and backgrounds, but it should be enjoyable nonetheless. And no dabbing Chica, sadly, but there is an anime posing baby, and again, We'll get to that. As of now, checking the entire book over three times plus an extra two, I can safely say that this is probably the first just for fun FNAF book. That's just that, for fun. Later on, I'ma go on my day in my giant black light and see if there's any juicy hidden stuff since this is Scott we're talking about. Overall, eight out of 10. Really nice looking book. Shame about the lore, but hey, that's what the Fazbear Frights books are for. Simple, fun book. And then the most damning thing ever, right? In the entire six year history of this franchise. Right here, note, between Toy Chica, Funtime Chica, and Glamrock Chica, Glamrock Chica may be the thoughtiest Chica of Beyonce ever. Hot. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a good overview of what the book is going to be like. There's no lore, right? I know people are going to be upset that it doesn't have lore because, oh my god, how are we supposed to live when there's no FNAF lore in a goddamn coloring book? Um, but we do have some pictures that I want to go over. We have a lot. There's 13 pages of these things. Shout out to igamer 1223 over on Twitter for supplying these. So since there's quite a bit to go through, I'm just gonna go through them pretty fast. Starting off with Glamrock Chica. I told you, security breach characters are going to be in the coloring book, and this is incredible. So it looks like she has a star-shaped guitar, 
um, and everything else we've kind of already seen before. It's just, it's it's always interesting to see different art styles of the, the Glamrock Security Breach characters, because that's really all we've seen them as, is just different forms of art style, you know? So this is another one to add to the list. Then you have Baby from the Silver Eyes Trilogy. This is the robotic baby. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but this is also Charlie. Uh, spoiler, Charlie is Baby in the books. She's a robot. Yada yada, complicated book lower stuff. So that is Trolley Baby in the books, right? The trilogy, the original trilogy. And then we have Funtime Freddy and Bond. Also, can I just say, right? Trolley Baby, why is she always so sexually drawn? You know, is that just me? Anyways, Funtime Freddy and Bond Bond are there. They're having a good old time. I think the best part about that drawing is that Bond Bond is booping Funtime Freddy's nose, that, that's hilarious. Then we have Mr. Afton himself, Scrap Trap Peanut Jimmy Neutron looking at. Whatever you want to call him, he does look pretty menacing, right? On that page, doesn't he look like he's just about to, to stab you with his little peg, <laughs> peg hand? Then we have our boy Glitch Trap in the book. It looks like he's jazzing out, you know, he's at the end of the Help Wanted game after we've been stuffed into Freddy's suit on stage and he's dancing around the dining room. Looks like he's just jazzing out. He looks like he's having fun. Then we have Nightmare Fredbear, dude. This guy is looking terrifying. I will say, there's a lot of detail on these characters and even the backgrounds, right? Moving on, we have Withered Golden Freddy. Wow, look at him. But yeah, you have Golden Freddy, all of his floating heads in the background. He looks amazing. Then we have Montgomery, Glamrock Freddy, and Circus Baby, uh, for some reason. Now, I, I'm just gonna go out here and say that the proportions on these pages hopefully are not accurate, because that means that the Glamrock animatronics are like 10 plus feet tall, like 11 to 12 feet tall. What is up with that? And if that's true, then Vanessa, the, you know, the night guard, Vanny, she's also like 11 feet tall. So hopefully <laughs> the, the proportions in the book well, we already know they're not accurate, but hopefully this page is specially. Anyways, it looks like these designs are taken from the early concept art of the Glamrock animatronics, so they may not be 100% accurate. Then we have Plush Trap sneaking up on Withered Golden Freddy again. Or is that Normal Golden? It might be Normal Golden Freddy, actually. I don't know what's going on. Uh, looks like they are in a bricked building, either that or a padded cell. And then we have Fun... Fun time Chica. Damn, dude. Damn, boy, she thick. That cupcake is terrifying, though. I don't know why the fun time cupcake had to be so goddamn terrifying when they're supposed to give you a fun time, you know? Anyways, moving on to some more thick characters. We have Toy Chica and Roxanne. So Toy Chica is presenting up a cupcake. I believe we see her on the cover of the book, so I'll just talk about the background. We can actually see the drawings from FNAF 2 or FNAF 1, I can't remember. Yeah, you can see some of the drawings behind her of the green shirt, blue jeans kid, if any OG FNAF fans remember that kid. And then Roxanne flipping her hair back, presenting her, oh god, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? Her key toy. Presenting her key toy. Yeah, I remember it, trust me guys. Um, overall just looking like a very sassy son of a gun. And then we have Lawbit and Baloa on the next page. Lawbit is poking out from their TV screen, I think that's a great touch. And Baloa is just doing some ballerina moves, dancing around. And then we have a terrifying, uh, Twisted Chica. I don't know why she looks so goddamn creepy, especially the cupcake with that realistic eye. Oh god, it's terrifying. But it's awesome at the same time. Then we have Scrap Baby, and it looks like on the page next to Scrap Baby, it looks like it's some other uh, twisted character. I can't really tell which one it is. It might be Bonnie, because I think I can see a bit of his ear. But yeah, Scrap Baby, so much detail on her. She looks absolutely amazing. Then we have Helpy. Oh, good old Helpy. He returns. Some great posing there. He's just giving you either a thumbs up or he's shaking his finger no at you because you got a few too many lawsuits. And then we come to Withered Freddy. Oh my god, can you see what we were talking about when we were saying the proportions get messed up. Then we have some Freddles with some plush traps. It looks like the Freddles are pointing and laughing at plush trap while he is shushing around, tiptoeing. Then we have some more pizza on the page next to um, Fun Time Chica. Then we have Twisted Wolf. Dude, this guy looks amazing. I wish he got more um, 
artwork because he's such a great character. In the page next to him, it looks like we have some um, heads of the original gang of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Golden Freddy. I'm not seeing any Foxy, weirdly enough. Then on the next page, we have Toy Bonnie rocking out to his brand new designed guitar. And then we have Pig Patch in what looks to be the prize corner. He's holding out his banjo. He's showing you all the goodies you can buy with the tickets that you've gotten from the arcade games. Then we have Toy Freddy and Happy Frog also in the prize area. And then we come across to the Phantom Gang, right? We have Phantom Chica, Phantom Puppet, Phantom Mangle, Phantom Foxy, and Phantom Freddy. Rip and chat Phantom Balloon Boy because he's not on here for some reason. Um, and I believe that's all the Phantoms. So yeah, they're just missing Mr. Balloon Boy. I think the designs for these guys look absolutely incredible. I think Foxy looks amazing in the background, especially him. We've already talked about Freddy and Security Puppet in the last video, link down below if you missed it. Then we have Funtime Foxy and Withered Bonnie. I love Withered Bonnie's page, though he should be missing a foot. He should be uh, shown as endoskeleton foot. Then we have Mr. Hippo doing a shrug. He's like, do you wanna hear another story? I was sitting by the river with my good friend Orville. And it looks like I was right with Twisted Bonnie on the page beside uh, Scrap Baby. He looks amazing. Dude, all the Twisted characters, fantastic designs. Nightmare Mangle and Nightmare Foxy. Dude, that's such a good page. Oh, Mangle looks terrifying, dude. And it looks like Nightmare Foxy's tongue is back. Then we have Foxy running away from Plush Trap. Um, we've seen Plush Trap and Golden Freddy uh, previously, so this is the page next to him. And then we have some more Nightmare characters, Nightmare Fredbear, Nightmare um, Chica, and Nightmare Bonnie. They all look incredible. Even the cupcake, it looks so cute, yet terrifying at the same time. Then we have Springtrap and Nightmare Balloon Boy. Springtrap, we see him on the cover, not much to talk about there. Nightmare Balloon Boy, he looks terrifying. He has all of his terrifying heads in the background. A great character, a great page right there. Looks like we have Withered Chica up next. Amazing detail, though I would've liked to see the jaw a bit more open, but hey, that's just me. And it looks like next to her, we have either Mangle or Phantom Mangle as well. And now I've saved the best for last. We have a great, amazing look at Vanny and Vanessa. So this is Vanessa's page. She looks amazing, dude. Absolutely incredible. I don't know why she's in front of the Funtime Chica Cupcakes, the Funtime Cupcake. Um, I'm guessing that probably doesn't mean anything, though I'm sure people are gonna read into it too far. I'm looking at my Security Breach poster right now and I'm not noticing any big differences. Of course, we get to color in um, all of her hair, her eyes, so it doesn't really matter if she has rainbow streaks or not. Uh, she's missing a flashlight in walkie-talkie, oddly enough. But other than that, spot on, she looks incredible. Moving on to Vanny now. This is the one I wanted to save for last because it's the one I want to talk the most about. So this is Vanny's page. Yeah, can you see my problem with it? It's just the head. Right, it's, it's mainly just the head. The eyes are way too god dang small, and the head is just too, like, cartoony shaped, if that makes any sense. Like, I'll put up a picture um, that the person who supplied these images in the first place uh, with tweeted about, showing off the different designs of Vanny's head, and you can see it changes a lot. So, I, I don't... I don't like it, alright? I don't like the coloring book head for Vanny. It just, it looks a bit strange. I think the eyes are way too small. The the head shape is just overall, it doesn't look all that good. Of course, the book releases in 10 days and they're not gonna fix it, but I'm just saying, I hope the design stays consistent going forward because like, come on guys, come on. So this was kind of a long video. We were just looking at the, uh, the coloring book pages and it turns out I've been recording for like 23 minutes, so. Sorry if it's too long. <laughs> That's really it. I won't keep you guys here any longer. I'm sure we're gonna get some more. Oh, well, I hope we get more Security Breach news soon because we're coming up to the end of the year and they did say that they would bring us more stuff after the trailer, but that was back in like September, so we're still waiting steel wool. Anyways, yeah, the coloring book releases in 10 days. I'm gonna try and get my hands on it and maybe we can do like a, a coloring live stream. That'd be cool. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory. Be still. I think she's found us.